All right, guys, electric bikes have gotten really popular over the years, and there are several brands that are dedicated pretty much strictly to hunting. Um, full transparency, I've never run any other electric bike. Uh, this is the only one I've ever had. This is actually my first deer season of using one. I did use this bike during turkey season, and I have a really good buddy that has used this brand for a couple years uh, here in South Carolina and has had a lot of success with it. This is uh, Rad Power Bikes is the name of the company that makes it. They're out of California. Um, and all in with these baskets, the, the fenders or the mud flaps, whatever you want to call them, um, I'm under $1,800. When you look at the other brands that are in the, the hunting space, they're almost two times as expensive as this bike. Um, it sets up really good. It's got a big platform back here that you can put a stand on um, and then a basket up here if you want to put a pack in or trail cameras or whatever you might need. This is the exact setup that I would take to the woods. So we're going to just kind of take it off of here. I'm going to show you the rack that we had built and, and the whole deal and um, how exactly I would go into the woods and come out. So I'm going to get it unpacked and we'll go from there. No, you're good. All right, so this is the rack, our transportation system. And all this is, is a hitch and haul I bought off of Amazon. And then my buddy that introduced me to these Rad Rover bikes, his dad actually took some square tubing and welded this little cage for the wheels to sit into. And then these also these poles right here. So the bike sits right up against that. And then you've got some dog collars that wrap around the tire and cinch down on both sides. And then I'll also, if I'm going on a long trip, I'll have a, a ratchet strap or a cable that hooks it, hooks it in right here so it can't go anywhere. But, but to and from my house to the hunting area, you, you don't necessarily need that. But again, this is an inexpensive rack. I think all in, we've got under $200 in this rack. So the whole setup, the bike, the rack, the baskets, everything, right around two grand or just under 2,000 bucks. So that is a pretty good deal if you look at the other bikes that are on the market. Again, I have no affiliation with Rad Rover, and, but I've never used any of the other e-bikes either. So this is a first stab, but I thought I'd just share with you guys exactly what I'm gonna be running this year. And uh, we'll show it taking off and all that now. So if I was going on a mobile setup, I've got my stand and sticks back here, got my pack and my bow. This is everything that I would have ready to go on my e-bike. Um, again, this is a, these are Rad Power Bikes and this is the Rad Rover. Um, so check them out. Uh, they're, they're, it's a great alternative to some of these more expensive bikes that are on the market. Um, but again, I don't have any experience with it other than turkey season but i do have a friend that's used it a bunch um hunting in, in south carolina down in these swamps and stuff and has had a lot of luck with it so this is the one we'll be rolling with this year <laughs> 